What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Smash JT. Mortal Kombat 1 has been leaked. In fact, over three hours of gameplay has leaked online on various areas of the internet, YouTube, it's been taken down, DMCA notices, things like that. But it's showing up on other platforms as well and areas where you're able to download the links and watch it on your own. And once it's on the internet, you're not going to be able to take it down. Mortal Kombat 1 comes out September 19th. And right now, as of recording this, it's September 11th. That means this game is still eight days away from being able to be purchased and played by the average layperson. And everyone in the internet is getting pretty freaked out right now that they're going to be spoiled. Well, proper warning for this video. If you don't want to hear any spoilers about Mortal Kombat, turn it off now. Otherwise... Let's talk about what's leaked. Smash JT. New to the channel, hit that subscribe button, give me a like, and check out SmashJT.com, which has a full article going over what I'm going to be talking about in this video today. Mortal Kombat 1 is one of the most anticipated fighting games of this generation, and there's a lot of people that can't wait to get their hands on it. In fact, some people already have. Over three hours of Mortal Kombat 1 story mode gameplay has leaked online. The links to the leaked content were shared on popular platforms like Reddit, but some of them have already been taken down due to DMCA notices. However, if you're not new to the internet, you would know that once it's on the internet, it's always going to be there. No matter how many times stuff gets taken down, it's going to start reappearing, popping up, and being republished elsewhere as long as you know where to look. The game is set to release in just a few days. It's September 19th, 2023. And some people are already amazed at how early these leaks are coming out. And yeah, I guess eight days is pretty early when all things are considered, but you gotta take into account once a game goes gold, gets put on the trucks, gets delivered to the game companies and game stores selling them, there's gonna be some mom and pop companies out there that got the game and pop it in. And without a day one patch preventing someone from being able to play it, it would just work. Although some people are saying that some things are being held out of this because there may be a day one patch that will fill in a lot of gaps that aren't there right now. Here's a quick breakdown of the community on Reddit's response to these leaks. Boss fights and gameplay. Someone commented that the thrill of the boss fight with the Deadly Alliance praising its unique death animations. While someone else pointed out that the potential missing content may be addressed in a day one patch. And regarding the availability, revealed that the story mode is already up on YouTube. Even though it's being removed intermittently, as long as you keep looking for it, you'll be able to find it. And this Reddit link that I found had two crossed out links and then put a new one up there with an active link that you can watch if you so desire. Regarding the alternative timeline storytelling, someone expressed frustration at the game revisiting the alternative timeline plot, saying that this has been done way too many times and it's just... It's an easy get out of jail free card for a game developer to be like, oh, this is how it happened instead of, I don't know, actually taking the time to make a storyline function and work. They just do the, oh, multiverse, that's how this works. There's a lot of people that were complaining about that and the multiverse storylines, highlighting that it can undermine stakes and the consequences of the game, where it criticized a lack of consequences with multiverse storylines, meaning that there's no real long-term effects if you can always just multiverse and fix it, nothing means anything. And at that point, the storyline becomes extremely weak. And speaking of the storylines and the history of Mortal Kombat storylines, Mortal Kombat's history with character deaths and returns suggests that the franchise had never really taken the plot too seriously. And that's very true. Mortal Kombat has had a lot of the death of Superman, oh wait, no, he's alive type stories with their characters. and. I guess it makes sense, but unfortunately, there's no real lasting effects of it, so no one gets the real feeling or impression that when someone dies in a game anymore, that they're actually gone for good. Which is a huge detraction when it comes to storytelling. If there's no long-term implications of detrimental stuff happening to characters, then why care about it at all? This leak gave a wide range of emotions and reactions from hardcore fans of the series alike. Some praising it, others not a big fan of it. But overall, the gameplay looks excellent. It looks like one of the best fighters of the generation and hopefully it plays as well as it looks. It's a game that I'm personally looking forward to. 
like I'm sure many of you are out there as well. And based off of the past history of Mortal Kombat, if it's anything like the previous iterations of it, I'm sure we're in for a good time. But those are my thoughts and the impressions that people on Reddit had regarding this huge Mortal Kombat 1 gameplay leak of three plus hours of gameplay footage and storyline telling. Yeah, it's multiverse. Yeah, there's no real long-term consequences. But at the end of the day, it's a fighting game. You can't really take the storyline too seriously. You just have fun with beating the crap out of each other. And that's what gaming is all about. Now, as far as the intricate details, I'm not going to go too far into it because honestly, I want to save some surprises for myself as well. I'm not going to look too far into this. I just, I wanted to cover the story because I feel like it's, it's a pretty big deal. This is a huge game release coming out from NetherRealm Studios and it's a game that a lot of people are looking forward to. And while I can't provide the links directly in my YouTube description, I can talk about it on smashjt.com without worrying about YouTube taking it down or doing anything for me there. But I'm not gonna post the links to it in my article either, but I will post the Reddit link where I got my information to this if you care to follow further down the rabbit hole than, than I did with this. Because like I said, I wanna keep this somewhat of a surprise even though I get it, the multiverse thing, and it doesn't even matter. With the, they could do whatever they want with the storyline at this point. It's just, it's Mortal Kombat. It's a fighting game. You fight, you know? That's that's the way I'm looking at it. I'm sure there's plenty of people out there that, that take their gaming really seriously and take their storylines to the next level with their fighting games, and that's well within their right. I'll save that for my role-playing games, and when I play my fighting games, I'll just enjoy kicking the crap out of people. NetherRealm Studios and Warner Brothers are hard at work right now removing any links from anywhere that they can find on the internet, so it seems like no matter how fast they're going up, they're getting taken down just as quickly. I'm sure they are on high alert over there on finding anything they can, so you gotta kind of work at this to find the information if you care to but i guess that's only for people that want to hardcore spoil this game for themselves otherwise just know that it's leaked and there's gonna be plenty of people talking about this because it's gonna be a big deal i'm gonna leave it there thank you guys so much for watching and as always you stay smashing, smashing.